Hey you guys, welcome to the Julie's World vlog. Um, this week it's um, travel and filming and all kinds of cool and crazy stuff. I hope you enjoy it. Um, don't forget I'm teaching in New York City in July and I have some local classes coming up in Massachusetts too. So check out my website for all the info. So it's an insanely windy day and I'm here in this sort of industrial park area uh, at the studio with my bright green rental car about to film. changing closet. It's a little room you can see with a big mirror and um, I'm gonna get changed. Super busy at the studio today. I made this sculpture. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> my hotel room. Um, the first day of filming my super secret project went really well and we actually got out a little bit early. It was about an hour drive from the studio to this new hotel and I'm gonna go try to find a Whole Foods. I find that when I'm on the road if I can do a little bit of grocery shopping, there's a refrigerator here in the room and if I can eat like a healthy dinner that I do a lot better. Um, and bright and early tomorrow morning I gotta be at the new studio for photography. Ooh. I'm either um, impersonating Wednesday Adams, which is possible, or these huge black circles under my eyes, maybe without my glasses, you can see them a little bit better. Um, that is after using makeup wipe removers, <laughs> after washing my face in the shower, after using a washcloth to wash my face after the shower, and I still have these. So cold cream, here I come. That's a lot of makeup, man. Good morning. I need to get into the shower, even though I just want to sleep another 15 minutes, but you know how that goes. It's always a bad idea. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm here in New Jersey for day three of my super secret video mission, which I can't tell you about now, but I'm really excited. Things are going pretty well. Um, it was a good day. I did a lot of stuff. Everybody is really nice. Um, I'm in the wilds of New Jersey, so I've sort of hit a rhythm. So what I do is I go to the studio early, do my work. Um, I have my computer there and in between takes and stuff, I work on stuff there. Then afterwards, I come back here to the room. You can see this cool wallpaper that's in the room that I just thought I'm actually, I'm standing on the bed. <laughs> so that I could um, get the wallpaper behind me because I thought it was cool. Anyway, um, and then I come home and I do some more work. I'm still prepping projects for Make It Artsy. I actually took some along with me in my suitcase. I'm still um, writing blog posts. I'm still editing. I'm still doing my 100 faces. I'm still, um, I'm still doing a lot of stuff. So um, I work at night and then I sort of repeat all over again. But tomorrow I'm going into New York City because I'm going to the Rauschenberg opening. So tomorrow is the most exciting day. I can't help myself. I've always wanted to be a slightly evil queen. And now I am. 
really like the new Instagram filters. Is it true? Do glasses make you smarter? And also, can you tell that I'm basically alone in a hotel room and bored? <laughs> Rental car equals taking a ticket. Been years since I've had to take a ticket. projects and I'm doing something right now called work hardening which is oops I'm doing it one-handed for the camera but it's basically taking these earring hooks I made and hammering them to make the metal just more firm and hard to work with and so here are the finished earrings I think they look really really good so this is all part of um, season three of make it artsy I'm just finishing up my projects Make it artsy, I'm responsible for doing my own hair. There is a makeup artist, and so I'm testing out these rulers to see how they're gonna work. It's my first time putting curlers in my hair. I'm not sure I did a good job, but I'm trying to avoid having so much like, you know, um, heating products like uh, a curling iron and stuff, because to make your hair look quote unquote commercial, they say you have to straighten it a little bit. So actually these rollers are meant to straighten my hair, not curl it. Unfortunately, the Velcro rollers mostly made my hair just look like fuzzy and puffy. I have tried to fix it, but uh, it's super fuzzy and puffy. I don't know. Not totally what I was looking for. C'est la vie. Talk about impact. You can all see, can't you, the impact in this one? Now, I actually couldn't decide between the two because at first, this was almost a negative impact to me because I thought the red was blood. They had a blood look, and I'm like, ooh. So I took a good look at this one, and I profess that I do not know much about abstract art. I really don't understand abstract art that well, but I do understand when I see an abstract piece that I like, and I do like this piece. I think it's gorgeous. I think it has a lot going on. I think it's this white. Um, abstract artists that I've heard talk, they talk about your alphabet of your shapes, 
and you use your shapes. And this is a great example of the colors behind and these shapes behind and then these kind of white and black squiggles over it. And I kind of couldn't decide which one to give it a board to. Wait a minute, who wanted that? But I think I went with this one for the, for the reason of the impact. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great week.